Hi, I'm Avi. And I'm B. Join us in our explorations of the central coast of California. And our adventures beyond. Our first morning in Puerto Vallarta began at the same place we had dinner the night before. Just a short stroll along the beach from our hotel, with tables on the sand and an ideal location next to the pier, breakfast at Cuatro Ziquetes was a perfect way to start our day. So, a little coffee, a little OJ, fruit plate, and my omelet with potatoes. Of course it comes with a little salsa and a tiny chip. Yummy looking fruit plate? Yes! What is my beloved companion say about her first morning drink? It's got OJ in it. It's got OJ in it. Ooh, and here it comes. Oh. Oh, mimosa. Gracias. Oh, <laughs> Hola, amigos y amigas. We're here at the Olas Altas Farmer's Market in Puerto Vallarta. And that's situated in El Parque Lázaro Cardenas happens on Saturday mornings from 9 to 2. It's a cool little market, lots of handmade goods, lots of good food. For a farmer's market though, I wouldn't say there were many farmers booths. No, no just this a is few. more artisanal just, products. Yeah, it's, it's definitely more artisanal gifts. It, it's geared towards tourists, I would say. Most of the signs are in English. One of the shops had a really cool instrument section. <laughs> Great place to come shopping if you're here on vacation. Didn't you get something? I did. I got a pair of earrings and a necklace. Gracias. This really pretty plum glass necklace and beaded chain. Really beautiful, my style. Even comes in a cute little bag. First thing I've bought on this trip so far. <laughs> It's a miracle! <laughs> There'll be more. There'll be more. The place we're sitting right now within the park is the Plaza Cristal, which is filled with benches and pillars that are covered with beautiful mosaics. So we're having a lot of fun. We're about to head back to the hotel for a dip in the pool, and then we're going to head on to... Poco de Tomatlan. We're going to try and catch a water taxi out there, but if not, we'll take an Uber. And then from there... Colomitos. Colomitos. I got a new hat. <laughs> Done with shopping for the time being, we made our way back through the colorful streets of the Zona Romantica towards our hotel. This is our third trip to this city, but the first time we've stayed here in the old town. It's a fun and lively neighborhood, and an ideal place to stay because everything is within walking distance. From the beach and the pier with all the expected activities to the Malacón and El Centro with the endless shopping, dining, and all the nightlife the city is known for. It's all right there with no real need for an Uber or a taxi. Back at the hotel, we changed into our swimsuits and spent the next few hours lounging around the pool deck and splashing in the water. Swimming worked up quite an appetite, so we headed off in search of some tacos before making our way south to Boca de Tomatlan. Before we came here, I was Googling some of the best places to eat in Puerto Vallarta, and a place called Tacos Revolucion popped up as one of the best taco bars in the city. We were just wandering around today trying to find lunch, and what do we stumble upon? Tacos Revolucion. Found it by chance, but here we are. Uh, let's hope that the tacos are not revolting. We ordered a couple tacos. I got their specialty, their favorite. And you ordered Dos the house Dos tacos adobadas. Hopefully they're as good as Google says they are. Oh, mighty Google. Me is that all of the regular margaritas, these cocktails here, and any of the wines that are 85 are on happy hour, two for one. So this green salsa is avocado and it's not spicy this is medium red salsa and then this is the spicy mango 
flavored salsa. Picante. So good. Dos tacos. Adobada. My taco revolution. Con todo. Oh. Provecho. Mezcalerita número uno. Y mezcalerita número dos. Salud. Salud. Very worth the price. We finished our tacos, which definitely lived up to their reputation, and made the quick walk to El Muele de Playa Los Muertos, the dock of the dead. Located just south of the River Quale, where Francisco Rodriguez Street meets Playa Los Muertos, the pedestrian-friendly pier juts out over 300 feet into the ocean and is considered to be among the world's most beautiful piers. This is where you would come to catch one of the water taxis to the numerous secluded beaches and small towns to the south of Puerto Vallarta, such as Colomitos, Mispaiola, Los Animas, or Yalapa. You can also find a fishing or tour boat here if you would like to head out to Los Arcos for some snorkeling or bird watching. It's a popular place for a stroll at any time of day and is especially romantic at sunset and into the night when the iconic sail structure is lit up with a beautiful multicolor light display. Once we learned how much a private water taxi would be, we decided to go ahead and just catch an Uber instead. The road to Boca de Tomatlan winds south through the mountains and the jungles along the coast. It's just a short 30 minute drive and before we knew it, we had turned off the main road and were heading down into the small fishing village. In recent years, Boca has started to gain more popularity as a getaway from Vallarta. But despite the increase in tourists, it's still a very rural town that holds on to its slower pace of life. The main activities center around the river mouth and the beach, where a constant stream of boats drift in and out, loading and unloading their cargoes of tourists, fresh caught fish, and all the goods that get transported from here to the smaller towns in the south that are only accessible by boat. The popular hiking trail to Colomitos begins just across the footbridge. There's a small malecon, a few quaint hotels, and a handful of beachside restaurants. Our stomachs led us to the closest one, where we were seated at a table in the sand under the shade of a palapa. Good. And this is, this is hamburgers on chicken and beef. Okay. Cheers, my love. Salud. Salud. So we ended up taking an Uber here because the water taxi turned out to be too much money. How much was it? Twenty eight hundred. It would have been hundred and forty dollars. U.S. dollars, so a little over, a little actually, a little quarter, so like twenty-eight sixty. Of course, it's a lot more romantic, and it takes a little longer. But you know, you're out in the beautiful mud. For me, though, if you're gonna spend one hundred and forty bucks on a boat ride, you might as well just do the snorkeling tour to Los Arcos or something like Get that. Get something more out of it because they're not that much more. Um, we'll find out tomorrow how much those are because we might end up doing one of those. So we're here at a nice little restaurant right on the beach, drinking a couple drinks, ordered some food. This pina colada is one of the best I've ever had. Cool. It really is. It's All the ones that I've had in the States, they taste like those syrupy mixers. This one tastes like fresh coconut. Fruit, yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah, nice balance. We didn't quite know what to expect here. We knew there were some restaurants and bars on the beach. 
so far this place is great. We'll see what our food's like. And then we're gonna go explore the town a little and check out the trail. I'm getting braver with my gastronomy and my choices. I kind of don't like things as spicy as she does. So I've been yeah. kind of leaning over my edge, so to speak, and trying new things. So I decided to kind of cave a little bit and just get a nice hamburguesa. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. And it'll give me the sustenance to make bad jokes in a different place. He needs no help with those. <laughs> All right, my tostada has arrived. A little bit of cheese on there, some avocado. Or is that carrot? That's carrot. Yeah. Guacamole looks really good. All right, we'll see if it tastes as good as it looks. Excellent. Marlin is just such a delicious fish. It tastes like fish, but it's and not it's, fishy. It's hearty too. That's another thing. It's like it's not just wimpy yeah. tilapia. Very fresh, chunky, in a good way. Uh huh. Lots of fresh onion and tomato in here, and the avocado even has like some chunks. It's not like mushy. Very good. Great texture. Very lemony, not spicy at all, but lemony, fresh. Really good. So far, this place is a winner. Winner, winner, Marlin dinner. And we got this view. Can't complain. Got the little malecon next to us, the river on the other side, the beach, mountains. It's a nice little place. Right, and a little bit of his drums. Sounds like a fart almost. <laughs> right? If you were going to use an instrument to make a fart sound, what instrument would it be? It'd be the tuba. What do you hear in the air? Fatal. Fatal? Fatal. 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 You're getting paid away. Fatal, fatal, fatal. You're getting away. <laughs> okay, enough fart jokes. How's your hamburger, love? Tasty. Very tasty. Good. Just when I thought I could get away with only American ingredients or United States ingredients. Not quite the ketchup I'm used to, but still very good ketchup. Just branching out more and more. We just finished our food, and I think before we try to see any of the hike to Las Colomitas, we are going to take a little dip while the water and weather is still warm. We'll see how much of the hike we get done at this point. The sun's getting pretty low in the sky. It's all good. We'll enjoy the water and the it's beach. It's all good, yeah. It's a trip to be able to swim this close to boats. Right. Boats just come in through this tiny little channel over here and from the open ocean. People are just and people like, are and it's super shallow. Like look, this kid doesn't even care. It's like a little girl over there. She's like, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> right? <laughs> can't find parking on the street, what's wrong with the local river? <laughs> we hung out on the beach for a little while, then decided to make our way towards Colomitos. To get to the trail, follow the river up from the beach until you come to one of the footbridges. Cross the river and turn towards the right. The trail hugs the coast and there will be points where you will feel like you are walking through people's backyards. If you follow it all the way to the end at Playa Las Animas, it's about two and a half miles long and will take about two hours or more if you stop to enjoy the beaches along the way. Bring water and snacks since there are no restaurants until you reach Playa Las Animas. As we came to the first viewpoint, we realized just how late it was getting and started to rethink our plans of making it to Playa Colomitos. We 
started off on the hike to Colomitos and realized that the sun's going down soon and the path is a little sketchy. And we don't want to... sometimes <laughs> non-existent in places. <laughs> right, you're going over like a little footbridge that you really have to be careful like to not fall through. And we don't want to be walking back in the dark, so we're going to take a rain check on that. Kind of disappointing that we didn't get to do it today, but we just started out too late. Yeah, and to be honest, the detour to the Muele, to the pier, to ascertain that we could not take a water taxi for as little money as we had hoped, set us back even more. Yeah, the time just didn't work out, and we don't want to be stupid and do something that will hurt ourselves. Right, we got more good stuff to have in front of us. So we're thinking we're going to head back to Puerto Vallarta, maybe we'll check out the nightlife on the Malacone a little, maybe we'll just hang around the hotel tonight. We don't know yet, we'll see. We'll see. You'll see too. You'll see too. But for now, we're just gonna sit here and enjoy the sunset and then we'll head back before it gets dark because we only have 10 minutes back to town, so we can handle that. We sat there as the light faded, watching the last few boats drift in and out of the harbor. There's something romantic about life on the sea. This beautiful small town is just a few miles from the big city, yet it feels like it's a world away. Ready to head back to PV? Listos. Estamos listos. Si. Before it got completely dark, we started picking our way back to town. Oh boy. Doing this in the dark, dark. She made it. Hey, there's so many of these guys, and they don't care at all about us being here. Look at you. Here, dude. Just like I was slowly moving a little bit. What up, dude? One, two, three. Big old. Wow, he's gigantic. I've never seen him That's the biggest one we've seen, I think, so far. Back in Boca, we luckily flagged down one of the last remaining taxis in town and headed back to Puerto Vallarta for the evening. Even the end of the journey isn't quite so secure. There's a light on the bridge though, so you don't walk right off of it. Right. A Vallarta, por favor? Si, sí, okay, gracias. Cuanto cuesta? Zona Romantica, Hotel Tropicana? Si. Sí. Cuanto cuesta? 250. Perfecto, gracias. It had been a long and enjoyable day. So we decided to call it a night. We're going to leave it here. So thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.